Bienvenue, bienvenue, bienvenue au Junior High School Hour sur la chaîne Joy Learning. C'est la section prévision. Et je me nomme Patricia Aboji. Welcome to Junior High School Hour on Joy Learning Channel. This is the revision section where we revise all we have done in our first and second year. Since we, the Form 3 students, are preparing to write our BEC in November, this is an opportunity for you to go back to what you may have forgotten. So, if you are ready as I am, join me and then let's go through today's lesson, a topic which I know you have already done. Aujourd'hui, nous allons réviser les adjectives démonstratives. Les adjectives démonstratives. We say demonstrative adjectives. I believe you recall you have done something like this with your teachers in school. Yes. So we are going to visit these demonstrative adjectives once again. Before we proceed, I'm sure you have not forgotten what adjectives are. Our English lessons, we may have learned that adjectives are words that are used to qualify or talk more about nouns. Good. So by the end of today's lesson, what are you, my lovely kids out there, expected to take home or expected to add to your knowledge? À la fin de la leçon, les élèves devraient être capables d'identifier les adjectives démonstratives en français. Yes, by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to identify demonstrative adjectives in French the demonstrative adjectives that we have in French. Il aussi devrait être capable d'utiliser les adjectives démonstratives correctement dans des phrases simples. So after identifying these demonstrative adjectives, you should be able to use them correctly in simple sentences. Are you ready? Yes, if you are ready, let's zoom in. Les adjectifs démonstratifs. Nous avons quatre adjectifs démonstratifs en français. We have four demonstrative adjectives in French. And what are they? Ils sont ce, ce, cet, e, ce. Encore, ce, cet, cet, e, ce. We'll take it for the last time. Ce, cet, cet, e, ce. These are the demonstrative adjectives we have in French. Now you are, I believe you are nodding your heads that you recall something like this, yes. So today we are going to revise all we learned about these demonstrative adjectives and how to use them in our sentences. Now let's see when to use these demonstrative adjectives. So when do we use the se? On utilise se pour le non masculin singulier. So we use the se when the noun we are talking about or describing is masculine and it is singular. The set is also used when the noun is masculine singular but begins with a vowel. The first one also be, is for masculine singular nouns, but not when the noun begins with a vowel. 
When the noun begins with a vowel, we are to use the set. Have you got the difference? Good. Now let's see when we use the set. With the set, we use it to describe or talk about feminine singular nouns. So the set is for both nouns that begin with consonants or vowels, unlike the masculine singular nouns that have different demonstrative adjectives for when the noun begins with a vowel or a consonant. With the feminine singular nouns, they have only set. Don't forget. And the ser is used for plural nouns. So when the noun is either masculine or feminine and is plural, we use the ser. I'll go over again. I hope by now you have got, gone for your exercise book or your notebook and your pen. If not, quickly go for them and write what you see on your screen and revise. When you keep on revising, you will not forget. So we said the se is used when the noun is masculine and it is singular and begins with a consonant. But when the noun is masculine singular but begins with a vowel, then we use set. And I hope you remember the vowels in French. They are A, E, I, O, U, sometimes H. So when the noun begins with any of these letters I have mentioned, then you will use the set. Now the set, the feminine singular, the set is used for feminine singular nouns. And then the ser is for plural nouns. Good. On continue avec some examples. We are going to see some examples of sentences with the use of se. So we have J'ai vu ce film. J'ai vu ce film. And that means I have watched or I have seen this film. La dame achète ce sac. La dame achète ce sac. And it means the lady is buying this bag. The lady is buying this bag. On continue avec Ce garçon parle bien l'anglais. Ce garçon parle bien l'anglais. Which means this boy speaks good English. This boy speaks English very well or speaks good English. Nous avons Ce pantalon est sale. Ce pantalon est sale. And it means this trouser is dirty. This trouser is dirty. On peut manger ce repas. On peut manger ce repas. And that means one can eat this food or one can eat this meal. Next, we'll continue with some examples with the use of set. Set. Cet avion ne marche pas vite. Cet avion ne marche pas vite. And what does that mean? This aeroplane does not move fast. This aeroplane does not move fast. Nous avons le professeur parle à cet homme. Le professeur parle à cet homme. The teacher is speaking to this man. The teacher is speaking or talking to this man. Cet enfant pleure beaucoup. Cet enfant pleure beaucoup. 
and that means this child cries a lot. This child cries a lot. Ma mère travaille dans cet hôtel. Ma mère travaille dans cet hôpital. Sorry. Ma mère travaille dans cet hôpital. My mother works in this hospital. Je me repose sous cet arbre. Je me repose sous cet arbre. I am resting under this tree. We are continuing with how or some sentences with the use of set. Set. Cette fille est très belle. Cette fille est très belle. That is, this girl is very beautiful. This girl is very beautiful. Mon ami veut cette robe. Mon ami veut cette robe. And that means, my friend likes or wants this dress. My friend wants this dress. Cette salle de classe est grande. Cette salle de classe est grande. And what does that mean? It means this classroom is very big. This classroom is very big. Cette église n'est pas loin d'ici. Cette église n'est pas loin d'ici. This church is not far from here. This church is not far from here. Madame Mensan a vendu cette chemise. Madame Mensan a vendu cette chemise. Madame Mensan has bought this dress. Good. Nous allons continuer avec des exemples avec ces. Ces. On a ces chaussures coûte très cher. Ces chaussures coûte très cher. And that means this, these shoes cost they are very expensive. They cost or they are very expensive. Essi a pris ses cahiers. Essi has taken these exercise books. Ces apprenants sont intelligents. These learners or students are intelligent. Ces pommes sont douces. These apples are sweet. La vendeuse vend ses assiettes. The seller is selling these plates. So these are some sentences with the use of these demonstrative adjectives. Now one may ask, what does or what do these demonstrative adjectives mean? We are going to look at what they mean from the sentences we have given what do you think they mean we have seen we use this 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 so it means se set and set mean this so se set and set mean this and then when you want to talk about plural nouns, then you use the se. So we say these shoes, these tables. So don't forget the se, set, and set are for singular, that is this. And then se are for plural, these. Good. Now, a little exercise to test your understanding so far. The examples we have looked at. You are going to try your hands on these for me. So take your pen and your exercise books and write the correct demonstrative adjective 
in the blank spaces provided. So we will have a set of questions, one to five for you. Six to ten will be projected after this is taken off. So quickly write the questions, one to five, and then six to ten. And as you write the questions, you answer, you can then phone in with your answers. Try your hands on them. And then you phone in with the answers before we do them together. And the numbers to call are 030-221-1698. Call in with your answers. So the first question we have, Mama a préparé dash prepare. Mama a préparé dash prepare. Mama has prepared dash meal. So put either se, set, set or se in there. Next we have dash animal son sauvage dash animaux son sauvage dash animals are wild question numéro 3 dash église est près d'ici dash église est près d'ici dash church is closer to this place dash Église est près d'ici. Numéro 4. J'ai pris dash voiture. J'ai pris dash voiture. I have taken dash car. I have taken dash car. Numéro 5. Dash dame est ma tante. Dash dame Et ma tante. The dash lady is my auntie. Dash lady is my auntie. We have questions number six to ten on your screen. Numero six. Don moi dash chaussette. Don moi dash chaussette. Give me dash pairs of socks. Give me dash pairs of socks. Numéro 7. Dash tableau sont dans la classe. Dash tableau sont dans la classe. Dash boards are in the class. Numéro 8. Dash éléphant mange trop. Dash éléphant mange trop. That is, dash elephants eat a lot. Dash elephants eat a lot. Numéro 9. Dash oiseaux sont sur l'arbre. Dash oiseaux sont sur l'arbre. That is, dash birds are on the tree. Dash birds are on the tree. Numéro 10. Papa conduit dash voiture. Papa conduit dash voiture. That is, Papa is driving dash car. Papa is driving dash car. So phone in with your answers and you have the phone line on your screen. Call the number and Bring in your answer and let's see if you are correct before we do it together. Remember, when you keep on trying or you practice, that is where you learn. So try your hands on it and let's see. Even if you make a mistake, you will learn from the mistake and that is where you will learn. So try your hands on it and then call in with your answers.
Hello, Martha. Hi. Como ça va? Ça va très bien, merci. Moi aussi, je vais bien. Très bien. Quelle école tu fréquentes? Tu fréquentes quelle école? Oh, Martha. Come back, come back. I was asking of your school, the school you attend. Okay? I know you will call in again, so try and call in again. Make the effort to answer. Hello, Evans? Yes, madam. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Moi aussi, je vais bien. Tu fréquentes quelle école? Mon, mon école s'appelle Death International School. Très bien. Oui. Donc, moi, la réponse pour la question numéro 1. Numéro 2. Question numéro 2. Ok. Ces animaux sont sauvages. Ces animaux sont sauvages. Très bien. And it means? And it means? Evans? Yes, madam. What does that mean? Ces animaux sont sauvages. What does that mean? These animals are savages. Applaudissez toi. <laughs> well done. Thank okay. you. Yeah, so keep learning French, okay? Okay. Very good. Au revoir. Au revoir, madame. So question two is answered. The answer. Hello, Chenebois. Hello. Hello. Chenebois. Madame. Comment allez-vous? Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Quelle école tu fréquentes? Mon école s'appelle Opiara. Où? Mon, mon école s'appelle Opiara. Ok. Donne-moi la réponse pour quelle question? Oui. Euh, euh, question numéro 2. Oui. 10. Yeah. Ok. <laughs> oh, tu ne vois. Call in again. We are waiting for your answer. <laughs>